Welcome back. It's your boy B with Peace and Pets. In today's episode, we're going to talk to you about setting up a new snake. And luckily, we just came across a new snake. We have a G-Stripe. We rode probably about a total of two hours or so to go pick her up. So we're going to name her Road Trip. And once you see her, you might know why. There she is. It's a G-Stripe. This is a recessive morph. She's beautiful. So what we're going to be doing today is teaching how to set her up and putting her into a, a rack. We add this snake to the collection and put it into the rack zips. And you want to do some preventive maintenance. And this takes... A little while um, what I do is I use frontline and what that does is it kills any mites or anything that could possibly be on the snake um, I put the snake into a tub by itself with just paper towels white paper towels and if it's any mites or anything like that on the snake you'll see these mites fall onto the paper towel you'll be able to diagnose whether the snake has mites before you put it in with your other animals if your snake does have mites, you want to keep it away from the other animal so that you can treat just this one animal. So if it doesn't and you quarantine for long enough, you can go ahead and uh, add it to your collection. But just make sure that you do some type of quarantine and some type of preventive maintenance. If you only have one snake, you don't really need to because that's the only animal. So if you have mites or anything, you can just treat that one animal. But you always want to quarantine the snake if you have more than one animal. So what I'm going to be doing now is just adding some fresh cypress mulch since I wasn't able to find any rocky block anywhere. So I'm going to go with some cypress mulch, which I used before and it worked out just fine. So add a couple handfuls of this. Not going to need too much, but cypress mulch is good at holding humidity as well. So, I'll definitely use Cypress Mulch. I actually had some, a layer of Cypress Mulch inside my Bioactive also. I um, haven't really used Cypress Mulch inside the tubs lately, but I had to go back to it. My supplier didn't have anything else. So, put that in there like that. It's about an inch thick. And then I just go put my water bowl right in the front. Keep my water bowl in the front corners. And that's that. So before we put her in, we want to get a quick weight on her. See how much, how many grams she weighs. Or whatever. So we can log that in. 736 grams. So now we're just going to put her into her tub. Let her go all in there and get nice and comfy and cozy. Lock her on up. And then we're going to put her in the top shelf of this rack system. This is a DIY rack system that I built. I built two of them. I have this one and the one right next to it. So I can slide her on in there. Nice and secure. Put her all the way back in the back. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Give us a thumbs up. If it doesn't bring you peace, why do it?